Joining me now, State Senator Bart Hester, Republican of Cave Springs. He will lead the state Senate as its president pro tem in 2023 uh, in the 94th General Assembly. Congratulations on your victory and thank you for being with us, Senator. Hey, uh, thank you so much, Roby, and I'm glad to be here this morning. All right, first question for you. You were a baseball player at the University of Arkansas. Uh, I want people to make sure they know that. What What is a stronger percentage for you, your passage of legislation in the Arkansas legislature or your lifetime batting average of 162? <laughs> well, hey, I will tell you, I remember those days. I was the best bullpen catcher in the SEC, and I take a lot of pride in that. Uh, but, but look, I, I seem to uh, have a little bit more luck passing legislation in the Arkansas legislature. <laughs> I believe that. So uh, I just throw that out there for fun. Your colleagues selected you for this role this past week. Uh, there were some other folks that were running against you. Um, some say there should be an election audit, the, the magnitude of Arizona over these results right here, but I, <laughs> I question that. Uh, tell me how you plan to unify the Senate um, under your leadership. Uh, there's plenty of documented instances of some fissures in the state Senate, and there's going to be a lot of new faces coming in in 2023. There will be, and I think I think it's uh, a real simple process, and it is building capital with colleagues, and you build capital with time, right? Um, letting people be heard, making sure they they not only are heard, but they feel like they are heard. And uh, so I'm just going to be spending time with uh, all the current members and the members that we uh, foresee coming in the legislature, and I'm going to build a lot of capital with them. And with that, we will, uh, I think, we'll start to gel. Are you going to do something different in terms of leadership than Senator Hickey, who was one of your opponents that you defeated? Are you going to be how are you going to be different than Senator Hickey? Well, look, I think Jimmy Hickey was the was the right man for the right time. We had a lot of difficult issues the last two years, but we've got a a new time coming forward, and I think that time is it just calls for somebody different. Uh, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to focus my time on, what I've committed the members to, is just communication with members. Uh, new members need that desperately. Uh, because, you know, I remember coming in 10 years ago and you just don't have a clue with anything. So I'm going to communicate, communicate, communicate. All right. The budget session is pretty much over. I don't expect anything other than a regular signy die uh, next uh, Tuesday, I believe it is. You correct me if you think there's going to be some other extracurricular uh, activities between now and then. What do you think are going to be the big issues that the Senate and the legislature will be facing in 2023? What are you kind of focusing on already? Well, what we know right now is the state of Arkansas has a lot of money, um, and we have a lot of money because the feds were printing a lot of money, and Arkansas is just doing really well. We budgeted uh, fiscally responsible, and I will uh, I will say that's due to uh, State Senator Jonathan Dismang's leadership with Jimmy Hickey. On uh, they really held the line on the budget, uh, and so people of Arkansas need to know that we, we've got a lot of money. Uh, but when there's a lot of money, there's a lot of problems, right? People want to spend it, people want to save it, people want to cut taxes. Some want to give it back. And so I think talking about the money. I know uh, from previous uh, legislatures, I have been covering Arkansas politics for almost 30 years now. Uh, when there's not very much money, it's a lot easier to govern because you can only do the basics. When there's a lot of money, everybody's got their hand out for, uh, for something. Is that, that's kind of what I hear you saying, correct? Uh, that, that is correct. And uh, there, uh, it was kind of an easy fiscal session because we could fund the things that we wanted to fund. Um, but uh, we will see the hands will be uh, out in full force. All right, there will be a new governor in 2023 when the next legislature comes into a uh, session. What do you think your relationship's gonna be like with uh, Governor Chris Jones? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. No, hey, uh, we will have a new governor uh, and her name will be Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And my relationship is going to be fantastic uh, because uh, I'm going to be intentional about having a great relationship with her. I was just making sure you were awake, uh, that you uh, didn't sneak that one past you right there. Hey, I, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, uh, Sarah reached out to me uh, yesterday and said, hey, you know, congratulations. And she said, would you be willing to make time to start meeting with me on a monthly basis to talk about uh, policy, should things go well for her, right? Um, and, and man, that was music to my ears and I think music to all my colleagues' ears. All right. Lastly, um, just uh, have you made any decisions let, yet on other leadership? I, I know I'm kind of getting a little bit of the cart before the horse there, but I mean, what, what are you thinking in terms of uh, particular appointments? You see Senator Dismang staying in that joint budget role. Do you have uh, any thoughts on any of your leadership positions yet? Sure. Well, I think the body will have a lot to say about uh, who's going to be in those particular positions. But man, I, I will tell you, um, 
uh, it would be a shock to me if uh, if Jonathan Dismain didn't continue to lead the budget, he, not just because uh, that's who I want, but it's because he's the right guy in every imaginable role, uh, uh, scenario to be leading the budget for the state of Arkansas. All right. He's State Senator Bart Hester, Republican of Cave Springs. He is the Senate president pro tem elect. Again, congratulations to you. Look forward to more conversations with you. Thanks for having me today. All right. We'll be back with more right after this.